It's so common in so many pockets and sock drawers that the Wall Street Journal jokingly calls it Canada's second currency. But if you've ever walked away from a Canadian tire checkout with a fistful of five-cent bills, you might have wondered what you could do with them all. Tonight, we have an only in Canada solution. Starting in Toronto with Deanna Sumanak and a singer who spent the past year collecting Canadian tire cash. You'd know that I'm your man. On stage, Corian Raymond sings from his heart, but making a CD takes money. Without the caper, I'd just be a guy you never heard of singing songs you don't know. Raymond's caper? Asking people to send him their Canadian tire money. Oh man, oh man. That's right, the same reward cash the retailing chain has been handing out at the checkout for decades. Then, Raymond found a recording studio that actually accepts Canadian tire money as payment. A year ago, the pile of cash looked like this. Now, many donations later, do you feel a bit like you committed a crime? Like you're an, like you're an outlaw? <laughs> What's right in front of us here is $6,172.65. In order to get this much Canadian tire money, Raymond would have to have spent over a million dollars at the store. Others have spent all that money, and their bills have trickled in from coast to coast. And then also telling me their stories about where the Canadian Tire money came from and, you know, what they bought with it or what they were going to, you know, this was going to buy a welder, but we got the welder from our buddy and now we're giving this to you. And it was like amazing, all these pieces of people's lives, yeah, just yeah. converging. And since random acts of kindness made the CD happen, Raymond decided that the content of the CD, too, should honor that all-Canadian spirit. Songs on the CD are Raymond's covers of tunes written by other musicians, most of them unknown. I said I ain't going back to old Fortnite. Raymond knows he's not a famous musician yet, but his fundraiser's resonance with Canadians gives him a different kind of satisfaction. I'm pleased with this because there's poetry in this, you know, this is, there's poetry in this money, you know, all the lives that it came from. Don't spend it, honey. The kind of poetry that could happen only in Canada. Deanna Sumanak, CBC News, Toronto. Canadian tire money has been available only in Canada for so long, it almost seems like it's been around as long as the country itself. It hasn't. The loyalty program was introduced in 1958. In 1961, the character Sandy McTire appeared. He was supposed to be a frugal Scot. If it feels like real currency, that's because it's been printed using similar paper. About a hundred million dollars worth of Canadian tire money is out there somewhere. The retailer is experimenting with a rewards card that would be unique to each customer.